Welcome to Star Stories, a collection of the moments that connect us all to something greater than ourselves, the night sky. This is Amy C. Oliver, visitor and science center manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory and your host. Think back to the second trip you ever took on an airplane. For most, it's not a memory that sticks out. But for Rebecca Benison, it's one she will never forget. Heading to Israel is an adventure to remember in and of itself. But a night in the Negev desert is where we find Rebecca's story of picking out constellations she would otherwise never have seen under the bright lights of New York City, and also leave her, wrapped in the folds of the Milky Way, watching stars rain down from the heavens for the very first time. Here's Desert Showers by Rebecca Benison. In August 2013, I hopped on a plane for the second time in my life and traveled across the world from New York to Israel. For the next two weeks, I'd share meals, rooms, and night skies with about 50 other people on our Birthright Israel trip. While the entire experience was memorable, it was our night in the Negev desert that will always stick with me. Not only was it the first time I'd had s'mores by a campfire, it was also the first time I'd seen a meteor shower. Being in the desert at night opens you up to amazing sights, regardless of stellar activity. Unlike New York, where you're lucky to spot a constellation or pick out a few stars or planets behind the haze, out in the desert, the entire Milky Way is on full display. It truly is amazing how much more you can see in the absence of light. And during an event like a meteor shower, you really get a sense of just how small our window into the universe typically is. As I looked up at the night sky and saw the meteor streak across the horizon, I was overwhelmed with gratitude. Out of all the times I could have traveled, it was this week and this night that I was sitting beneath the stars and able to see something that I'd only heard about before. There were so many beautiful experiences shared on that trip, but feeling the magnitude of the cosmos will always remain a favorite. Star stories bring us together because they tell us something about ourselves. They let us know that no matter what is happening in the world around us, we all have something in common. Our awe for, wonder in, and appreciation of the night sky. To submit your own star story for inclusion in this collection, send 200 to 300 words detailing your first, best, a most important interaction with the night sky to Whipple Science Center at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. And as always, keep looking up.